the man from Del Monte knows about fruit you can taste in our juice. Never guess what? Last night I was chilling at my sister's place listening to Dubset and I just really fancy some Arabian mangoes, you know, but no one's selling them at the minute. So I just kind of like wish for some and bang, three of them straight in my hand. Oh shit. No, I'm serious. I don't know how, I don't know why. Wait a moment. If you can get three mangoes, get some now. Okay. Not working. I told you it was bullshit. Yes, Lucifer, Ashley, Hunter, Betty, Fritzel, Elizabeth. Is the way today, sir? Yeah, mate. Magic boy. Magic boy. Hello. Paul Daniels. Yeah, what? How's your trip? How's your wife and my kids? How you got said master now? Well, oh, shit. Come in. Hello, kitten. What can I do for you? Dickhead sent me. Been picking on me. Was it not you who, in fact, was being the dick? No, not really. Well, that sorted it then, kitten. Do you fancy a munch per chance? Yeah, I could go creep your two sandwich right about now. Not you, cocksucker. I was talking to my pet fish, Bubbles. Classic cunt. Classic Daniel. I like your dick in some. It's fun to say them. It's fun to hear them. It's why I say them. That's why I listen. If you come in front of me again, I'll twist your dick off. You can't touch me. Oh, I'll touch you all right. I'll touch you all night long if I have to. Okay. So what happened when you and Cum Fergus? In his usual dick joke and let me go. Anyway, do you know what I really fancy right now? What? A nice big fat mango. Go on then, David Blaine, put a rub out your ass and water there, try and get some mangoes. Okay. See, I knew you were a bullshit. <laughs> Oh yeah. Wakey, wakey, boys. Boys, you've been very silly. you got some shit that belongs to me, so I'm going to give you 24 hours to get it back, or Violet here is going to relocate you to a shallow grave. What the hell? Think of her as a supply teacher from hell.
This is my sister's boyfriend's work, so don't be knobs. What are your sister here? No, he just works here, but he knows how to get the stuff, so don't ruin it. Alright. What are you dicks up to now? I'm in a bit of bother. You'll never believe this, but Dickhead's a massive mango dealer and comes to Big Cheese. Are you sure? He used to be my art teacher, yeah? He tried to get my mate to pose for him naked, yeah? Kitty fiddler, maybe, but a dealer. Essentially, he just threatened us with this crazy ninja girl. The trouble is, he thinks we've got his mangoes. Well, do you? We did have, but not anymore. What shall we do? Hmm. Tricky. What you need is a mango dealer. Now, I would have some if it wasn't for you, Dix. But there's loads down the park at the school. Why don't you go down there? Okay then, thanks. I'm sorry about the mangoes. Okay, I think we need to talk about how we're going to get these mangoes. I want you to throw a magic song. I've got a funny thing that only works in song section in the back of the head. No, you only got to have mangoes! So why don't we try and find a mango dealer like your sister's boyfriend said? Okay, you and me will go to the park. Robert, you go back to the school. Shit doesn't stink, but it does. It stinks of shit. Listen, we can get those mangoes back, you know. The, um, the kids still have time. I know that, shitbird. We need those mangoes back on road. Otherwise, the Del Monte's den will sell to our customers. The Del Monte's? Balls. Shit, I heard they make, make the enemies have sex with goats. That shouldn't be a problem for you, my friend. Now listen, for the last time, I didn't know she was a goat, did I? What did you make us run all the way down here for? You mean you just overheard Cump and Dickhead talking about another group of massive mango dealers called the Delmontes who gets the stuff? Why don't we try and ring up Bright Shades and get meat? Well, this is your gas, you ring up. Alright then, I got this. Say. Nothing, she didn't answer, she just left the voicemail. Just go get him to hit you on the head. It can't be too hard. It's been happening all day. Okay, look guys, I really appreciate this, alright? All for one and one for all, right? Yeah? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Sexy kid, meet Mr. Del Monte. I need to buy a box of mangoes. Right now. Yeah, he, that's is what he does. He can sell your stuff. What have you got? I need it on tick though. What the f*** is tick? Well, I got this. And I got this. What are you taking the piss? You're wasting this man's time. If Jimi Hendrix was alive, this would have made a brilliant birthday present. Mr. Del Monte, so come over here. Come over here, boy. Dickhead! Mr. Del Monte, he say no. Now f*** off. Okay, yeah, I'll check the stock. The stock is the stock is gone. The kids the kids must have taken the stock. 
He must have gone to the school. He must be that dickhead guy. Dickhead! Last night, fire services struggled to bring a blaze at the local school under control. Five bodies and one fish have been recovered from the scene. These were later identified as Dr. L. Kumpf, headmaster of the school, Mr. Richard Head, art teacher and suspected nonce, and three members of the notorious Del Monte gang. Early police reports suggest the incident may be a result of an ongoing turf war over the distribution of illegal mangoes. And now, over to Bob for the weather. Coffee. I love the service in this place. Uh, I think we go away with that. Yeah, Del Monte's come from Dick out of dead. What are they going to do now, though? Hello, boys. I have a proposition for you. Sexy schoolboy, what can I do for you? She's young and a bit of beat. Yeah, say. That's the shot. Did you see me laughing? Dealer, I slashed his face for touching up my mate. <laughs> <laughs> Think of her as a supply teacher. Well, from hell. Just get my stuff. <laughs> that would be super funny if you had an odd chart. Yeah, I thought you'd get a fish. An actual fish? I didn't tell my mum to get a bowl already. An actual bowl. That's what I was laughing at. <laughs> Understand and you suffer. Sugar's 